Welcome back. You clicked on this video because you want a free Minecraft server, right? And guess what? You are gonna get it by the end of this video. So all you need is a one goddamn Gmail account. And I think that's pretty easy to make. You can either use the one you are using to watch this video right now. Or you can make another one. I will recommend to make another one. So, so let's get right on to the video, okay? So first of all, go to this website, okay? console.cloud.google.com and obviously you need to sign in they will ask you for uh, a credit card information or something you just have to skip it never give your credit card information because this tutorial is completely free now what you need to do is uh, click on this icon that says activate a cloud shell uh, click on it and it will start up a terminal and uh, the thing is i created this project six months ago and now uh, you can do everything uh, by just five or six commands all right this is pretty easy to make even kids can do it okay so what you need to do is uh, open my documentation for mc server on another tab so now as you can see on my screen i have opened the project uh, link given in the description open these side by side so it is easy for you to copy and paste so go down and you will see this installation copy this first command and paste it with control plus v obviously so it will start cloning into your mc server folder now if you do a ls you can see there is a folder called mc server you need to cd into it so just copy and paste simple uh, just copy paste simple and now you need to run the installation script as you can see in the documentation so just copy and paste so it will ask you which server you want to install so currently I am a Java user or as you can say I only play on Java but we do have Bedrock sub. It is not completely finished yet and uh, one important thing is if you have any literally any doubt just go into the description and you will find the link for my discord server. Just come and ask any question okay. It doesn't matter how silly it is. We will help you. So just select one for installing Java and I selected and pressed enter so it will download some dependencies I will skip when it's done so now it is asking me which server I want to install so uh, currently the forge 1.17 is not supported yet for java java 11 but you can select it from here and I will tell you if you are using a modded server but for me right now I am just installing a vanilla server so the step is gonna be a simple simple easy just select one and press enter now it is installing a vanilla server now it's asking me for which version of minecraft i want to install you can definitely put anything here like 1.16 or 1.17 currently the latest version is 1.17.1 as the time of making this video so i am just going to uh, type that in so now i have uh, return it i just need to press enter on my keyboard so now it it completely downloaded that 1.17.1 version and as you can see it actually installed plate.gg2 which is a nice sign if you have any problem just come to discord link is given in the description now if i want to start the server now currently i am going to uh, type uh, no because so right now i am just going to click on no because uh, i think uh, you might know i don't actually own minecraft so I am going to use T launcher. So I am going to press 2. Yeah. So now it is also showing me it is extracting Java 16. So the thing is uh, on Debian 10, Java 16 is not installed by default. It will in Bullseye, but right now it's not. So I manually added it. You don't have to worry about it, to be honest, if you don't care. So now after this is done, all you uh, all you need to do is uh, do ls and as you can see i uh, in the documentation i also wrote run the start script right you can you can just copy and paste it simple now your server will start obviously but the thing is uh, as you might know uh, we use t launcher so we need to stop that online mode <clears throat> so we need to stop that online mode which is pretty simple now if you do a uh, green minus ls you can see there are three apps currently running one is my afk app i will tell about this uh, after some time 
second is our play.gg tunneling service it will give you a free domain for your minecraft server you don't have to worry about anything and the third thing is our minecraft server so if you go into screen minus our server you can actually see our uh, preparing spawn chunks yeah so one thing to keep in mind if you do any screen command if you want to close from that session you cannot press ctrl plus c all right that is very very dangerous you need to press this shortcut i will also pay uh, it, write it on the screen ctrl a and ctrl d simple and after that you can see i de i detached from the server and if i do screen minus ls again the server is uh, still running in the background obviously so now what you need to do is uh, if you are using a dlauncher you can stop this server you can stop this server with dot slash stop server and now server is terminated so if you do now screen minus ls nothing will pop up obviously because we just closed it come on guys come on so now the next thing uh, for e launcher users is go into uh, server folder cd with cd server and if you do ls you will see this file called server.properties we need to edit this file so as you as you might know on windows we use a program like notepad or something on linux we are going to use a text editor called nano so what you need to do is type nano and then a name of the file which is server.property okay so it will open the file in the command line text editor as you might say and go down with your arrow keys until you find this line called online mode equals to true you need to uh, uh, make this false okay i just replaced true with false so now all you need to do is uh, to save press ctrl plus o and uh, press enter and after that to close this text editor press ctrl and x okay now our server is mostly set up but the thing is we also want a domain for our server right we need to connect to it so uh, we are using a service called play.g i mentioned it before so now let's just uh, head back to your previous directory with cd dot dot and just start the server with this command start server and by the way uh, all these commands i am using are given in my uh, mc server documentation the link is given in the description again okay. and if you have any question just come to our discord i am telling this like third time now so uh, now if you do screen minus ls you can see uh, our server is running our afk app is running and our plate uh, plate.gg is also running so what you need to do in order to get your domain just uh, go into screen minus r plate okay uh, it's pretty simple as you can see i i literally just wrote it here uh, and then press enter and you can see a url here right so you just need to highlight it and google cloud will automatically put it in your clipboard or something and open a new tab and paste that link currently i am using firefox you can use any browser and as you can see uh i actually created a tunnel but let me just show you let me delete this so now you need to click on this option as you can see add a tunnel and uh, just click on this add button and after that it will give you uh, it will, it is preparing a link right now and now as you can see this link i just need to put it in my minecraft launcher so let me just start minecraft all right so guys as you can see my minecraft is launched so uh, in order to go inside my uh, minecraft server i need to click on this multiplayer and then i will add server okay and i will just call it uh, cloud server and in the server address all you need to do is copy this address uh, let me just copy it and paste it right here and just press done all right and uh, and as you can see it is uh, right now working and just click on the start button as you can see i am currently inside that uh, minecraft server we just created so let me just give you, let me just show you how to give yourself operator permissions all right 
so go back to your uh, google cloud uh, connection or whatever you want to call it and just press control a and control d i think i mentioned this shortcut uh, before too but uh, that's a very important shortcut by the way in order to not stop your server so now what you need to do is uh, you need to go inside your server console so press screen minus r server press enter and as you can see i actually joined and i need to give myself operator permission so i will write slash op lord of uh, lord of wizard and as you can see i am a server operator so let me just uh, game mode creative and i think my game mode is creative right now so yeah it's a pretty nice swarm biome uh, i think we should stop right now <laughs> if you are using a third party launcher or third party modded server like forge or anything else uh, there is one more step for you let me just stop this server so if you are using forge and you are using like 1.16 and before versions uh, java 16 will not work java 16 is pretty new for minecraft so you need to edit one more file just type nano and start java server and as you can see uh, i have actually written what you need to do but uh, you can see this dollar sign java line right you just need to uh, put a hashtag in front of it and you just need to remove this hashtag in front of this last line so we it will use a default java provided by uh, google cloud which is java 11 so now for saving this file press ctrl o and enter and ctrl x so as you can see our server is uh, currently completely uh, working and if you are, you just need to do this step if you are using forge or any older versions of minecraft this step is not necessary for uh, other versions all right or latest version so now many people are asking uh, were asking me they their google cloud session their, this terminal gets disconnected after every 20 minutes so on a couple of live streams link is given in the description by the way uh, i have been uh, developing a afk app for uh, this problem so whenever you start a server so let me just uh, start it so right now i just started the server so uh, if you have this problem all you need to do is uh, do screen minus r afk this will open the afk app in your terminal and as you can see it is running right now we are running it inside screen session that's why these colors are uh, just a bit funky i don't know what to do about it and you just need to keep this uh, browser window open all right just keep this window open and keep playing your minecraft server just like you do on uh, on any uh, on any device all right this is i think this is a very uh, easy step you can do it by yourself this is definitely not hard if i'm not wrong so i think guys that's it for today I think uh, we have covered everything but if you have any issue you just need to go in, go in the description and just click on the just click on the discord server link I have provided join us with there and if you have any problem you can just message me currently we are also running our own SMP on this Google cloud server and we are totally totally enjoying it I hope you will also enjoy our project this project is completely free and open source so you can contribute for other versions like Bungie Cord or Paper MC or Spigot or any other Minecraft model versions you are using. You just need to write a little script written in Bash and I think, I think that's pretty easy. But that's the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you in the next live stream. I am doing a, a live stream daily at 9 p.m. Uh, I am currently learning SDL and C programming language and I hope you really join them and you enjoy our little journey in the computer science world. So bye bye.